Hello, welcome back to Filmmaker Rambles, and today we're lighting my kitchen. And these overhead lights, yeah, they ain't gonna do it. And are we gonna be using any references? No, we're not. Let's figure out a game plan. I think I'm gonna go for something moody and stylistic. I tried coming up with a lighting plan so I wouldn't just go into this completely blind, and I think I came up with a kind of interesting idea to start off with. So the first thing I did afterwards was obviously look for my frame so I knew what kind of lighting I would be using to motivate the scene. So now it's time to take out my lights. The first light I took out was my 200X. I'm going to be using this hyper reflector attachment that came with the light in order to create this exaggerated moonlight effect coming from the window. My next light would be the Aperture 60D, which will be used as an overhead key. And since this light isn't very heavy, I'm just going to be using my C-Stand and C-Stand arm to boom it over the scene. And then my next step is to clean up the set a little bit and then apply the Bowens mount attachment to the 60D so we can put modifiers on it. And then we're going to be using our lantern modifier which is really great for just having a nice spread of light throughout the scene but since it obviously is going to spill everywhere we're going to put a skirt over it just so then we can flag out any spillage and concentrate the light on the table and on the subject. And yes, I took a very embarrassing amount of time setting this up and I am pretty sure I did it wrong but hey. It works. Also, let's not forget about the CTO gels because I almost forgot to put them on and this basically helps warm up the daylight balance light into like more of a incandescent light. And once we're done with that, we're gonna be setting up the overhead light and setting it up right over the table where our shot's gonna be. And definitely do not forget to put a sandbag on the C-Stand. And then we're gonna take out the 200X and pretty much set it up so then we can create that exaggerated moonlight effect that I was talking about. I made sure to hit the light from an angle so then we could create a really cool window shadow effect. It's definitely very exaggerated but I think it really looks cool for this scene so I'm just going to keep rolling with it. And this is what the scene looks like with these two lights. Next thing we're going to do is attach a small rig clamp to the kitchen hood with a mini LED. This will basically serve as some kind of hair light slash room light slash edge light to separate the subject from the background. I feel like we're almost there, so I'm gonna add one more thing, which is this other LED attached to the bottom of this cabinet with gaff tape in order to create just some more light and more interesting stuff going on in the background. And this is pretty much the final shot. I think it looks pretty cool, but just a reminder that this is me learning lighting and I'm not a professional by any means. And you know, just so much more than just obviously lighting, right? There's set design, there's sound design, there's color grading. All these elements basically come together to make the image what it is, right? If that makes sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll catch you on the next episode.